doing it. You made it all the way up, big boy. Yeah. So I just whipped up, and I didn't vlog it, a blueberry smoothie. The base is almond milk and it's got a little bit of yogurt in it. And blueberries and chia seeds. That blueberry is awesome. You think so? I know you all see these everywhere. And you may think to yourself, that's a waste of time, that's a waste of money. No, it is not. These are awesome. And one of the best things that you can use these for is for said smoothies. <laughs> oh, okay. They're outstanding. They come with uh, different lid attachments, which makes them even more versatile. But also, if you have a different brand of a uh, cup, it's possible that this, there's a standardized size and you can actually buy the Yeti lids and fit them on your okay. non-Yeti cup okay. if they're you know, vacuum sealed, double insulated. But I love their huge, thick plastic straws. I love those because they don't collapse. I have my big half gallon water bottle, y'all. I washed it this morning, got it all ready for the day. That thing fits nowhere. It is humongous. Got my jug. Good, that's everything. Bye, love. <laughs> Bye. So while Cheyenne's in there working out, I think I'll say a few things about this diet, how we maintain a healthy lifestyle. Weight is a very, very sensitive subject. And rather than be judgmental, don't want to do that. Um, I want to give you what I think is possibly one of the best pieces of advice I can for married couples, right? So when you're single, you have yourself to answer to and answer for. Depending on what you eat when you're home with your family, you can pick and choose how you want to eat, when you want to eat, and so forth and so on. But when you're a married couple, you do things together, or you should, I believe. So. When it comes to diet and fitness in a married home, in a couple's home, I really believe that you should diet and work out together as a couple. And I find a lot of strength knowing that Cheyenne's there with me. She's interested in healthier things. In fact, it's completely Cheyenne's suggestion that we even went on keto about a year and a half ago. I'm saying all of that because it's extremely hard if just one party is trying to lose weight and let's say the husband's not, he just don't care. If you really are interested in losing weight or maintaining a healthy diet, do it together, both of you, at the same time. Eat the same foods, go on the same walk, uh, go to the gym together, focus on a healthier diet. Less sugar, less carbs, you know, drop the sodas, start drinking more water. Find I'll hold Minnie. Show everybody Pluto. Pluto. All right, Mickey fell. Let me get Mickey. Show Mickey. Oh. <laughs> Minnie. Minnie. Get mouse. Mickey. Do your dieting and your exercise together if at all possible. Please let your spouse know that they don't have to lose any weight for you. You think they're beautiful just the way they are. All right. All right, so we are home from the gym from Rockland. We had a really good workout. For the first time in a really long time, I felt so good and I felt like I had that strength and extra oomph just to push myself and do more. For the first time, it seemed like it was not hard to do. <laughs> like, it felt like I wasn't pushing myself every minute to get to my goal time, but it felt like I could just keep going and going. I had lots of energy and strength and it wasn't hard at all but I did only do 21 minutes but it was still a really good workout and it just felt so good so I had that wrap earlier when we were in town and then I just made myself a rice cake 
So if you're interested in knowing, these lightly salted rice cakes are only seven carbs. So I love to have one of those with some peanut butter on them that just hits the spot to me. I just love those rice cakes with peanut butter. They're so delicious and you can put so much on those rice cakes. But for me, like a sweet, it just hits the spot. Anyway, so I was going to tackle cleaning out the fridge today. Simeon is trying to go to sleep. He hasn't gone to sleep. He's in the bedroom just restless but he needs to take a nap because we're going to my sister's house tonight we're meeting family there so i want him to take a nap and have a good time with the kids with his cousins so i want to clean out the fridge there's some old stuff in there just something that i don't enjoy doing is cleaning out the fridge but i love it when i open the fridge and you can just see what's in there and it's organized and clean and I just remember that I didn't show you of a four picture of my fridge and I should have because it was so bad there was like stuff almost up here and just really bad so anyways I'm sorry I didn't capture that but as you can see it's just really not organized so that's what it was up here too really bad. Just feels and looks so much better. I've got to get some more eggs to fill that up. We eat a lot of eggs in this family. My pickles down there, keep my meats down on the bottom, and then like that's what's in there right now. Okay, so I just want to talk a few minutes about how we maintain a healthy weight and how we go about our lifestyle when we're on the road a lot, when we're traveling down south, and when we're just home. So basically what we do is, of course when we're traveling, we eat out like most people. Now if we're gonna be going to a special restaurant, I may want to really watch what I eat throughout the whole day and maybe not eat much at all, or maybe I will do low carb for that day and then I'll just eat what I want for dinner. When we're home, when we get back from vacation, we usually just try to get strict back on keto. So for the most part, yeah, we may go a lot and we may eat foods that we don't normally do and that's not the low carb lifestyle. But when we're home for the most part, we do try to do low carb. And I think because we do that, it kind of balances things out. We have been home for several weeks now. We got back from Georgia in January and for the most part, we have done really good getting back on track. A lot of times it is hard once you've been eating sugar and carbs. It is hard to initially get back onto keto for us. Just getting that sugar out of your system usually takes me a week or two to get it flushed out where I don't have those sugar cravings anymore. So with that being said, I've been having the same breakfast for weeks. I've been having scrambled eggs and then I either have bacon or sausage or both if I'm really hungry and then I'll have a slice of my low carb 
toast with cream cheese. I was looking at recipes from Pinterest and then I was also looking into my Everyday Ketogenic Kitchen Cookbook. Um, I haven't done a lot of recipes out of this cookbook. I've done a few. So I'm just looking things over. There's a taco pie here, which I haven't made. There is a recipe I've done in here with ground beef that's really good. It's quarter till five. We have to be somewhere at six, so I don't have a whole lot of time. I think I may just do tacos because I have sour cream, I have cheese, and we'll just make a taco quick tonight because I just don't have that much time to make a big meal tonight. With that being said, I think I'm gonna get started on dinner. It's 4.44. I'm gonna try not to eat past six. I try to do six as my deadline. So if I cannot eat past six, I feel so good when I wake up in the morning. I will endure hunger if I'm doing intermittent fasting. That's different than throughout the day when you need to be eating and giving your body energy. If you're hungry, you wanna eat, but when you're trying to do intermittent fasting at night and you've eaten throughout the day, that's something different. <laughs> 